welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a little DIY. I actually started last night and I thought, hey, I think I should share this because it's looking pretty nice. So I'm showing you guys this part of my home because as you all know, my kitchen is somewhere I don't find it to be very glamorous. And I wanted to step it up and kind of remodel it in my own way and I'm gonna show you the products that I'll be using to upgrade this kitchen so the other day I was at the 99 cent store and I happened to find this um, self adhesive wall tiles and I thought that would be perfect for my kitchen I did end up purchasing 50 packs I believe and each was $1.99 which was such a steal I just want to say thank you so much to my mom for finding 25 packs of this adhesive tile um, at the 99 cent store so thanks to her we're able to do this DIY because I only had like 20 of them and she found the rest of them we're still missing probably 10 but um, I'm gonna have to make it work you guys will see A little sneak peek of what I did last night this is what I did and that's how I started and I was like oh my god it's looking fabulous I need to do a video <laughs> So this wall looks like this. We're gonna cover it up with this sticker. And I'm also gonna show you guys the other wall in a little bit because that one is kinda done too. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make this better right here on top of the stove. And also the reason why I decided to do this is because this right here, I never found it attractive. And I just wanted to cover it because it just doesn't look right. Like having all that from when they put the tile here or this uh, stone they just didn't do it right in my opinion so I thought if I put a backsplash that would be really nice and a great way for me to get rid of it and show you all how you can redo your kitchen for as little as a hundred bucks you can see it on this side too it's not dirty you guys that's just how it is if you wish to um, Update your kitchen too as well. I will leave some links down below to tiles that I really, really like. This is the only thing that I found at the dollar store. So I'm going to show you guys with this. And I think it will work for a little bit until later when I decide to get maybe a different style or a different kind. Because I saw some really cute ones that were white. Altogether was going to be like $400. And $400, I mean it's still reasonable compared to like real uh, backsplash. <laughs> okay you guys, I'm going to show you what you're going to need for this DIY. This is the items that you're going to be using. Paper towel, your stickers, of course, something to clean the walls. So before you apply the stickers, you have to clean the walls. Make sure they're dry. Also, we need a screwdriver and some scissors so that we can cut the tile, the sticker tile, as um, you will need to on the corners and everything else. How I did it was, I'm going to show you, but pretty much I make sure that it's placed on the bottom. As you can see right there, really close. And this is what I did. I'm just going to show you real quick because we're going to go behind my stove and do that. So first you open the sticker like so. And this is how it looks like. You peel this off. And there's your sticker. Just like that. And this is one side is going to look like this. And the other is going to look like this. So you decide whether you want to do it this way. Since I like the design right here, I decided to place mine like this. But you can also do it this way. Whichever way you prefer. Let me give you a quick example. Okay, you guys, let's pretend you want to use the black sticker at the bottom of your wall splash. So what you do is, you pretty much start like this. This is what you need to do. This, this part right here has to be hanging and you just make sure you um, place it like that. Here the second one has to be overlap on this side and that's going to help it stick longer just like that. Oops, I apologize. Just like that and you see how nice that looks. Alright, so I move my stove and I'm going to get back there and start cleaning the wall. looks like you peel it off like so that's how the back looks and what I'm gonna do is place it down and then I push down just like that the other night, so 
are your glance, your everlasting light Let your eyes raise a sharp cover through the crowd Okay, so this is gonna be my last one right here and as you can see we're gonna run into so as you can see the stickers overlapping right here so I'm gonna have to cut it so that I can make space for this and I'm also gonna unscrew this and put it under So this is the after. It looks much, much better. I know it's a little messy right now, but we're gonna organize it and make it super pretty. Voila! I don't believe I have enough for that part right there. So I'm just gonna keep it just like this. On this side, I did mess up. So um, I started my, my first tile in the middle. So I do not recommend you doing that. If you are going to be putting your tile, start at the beginning of your wall or at the end, depending on which side you decide that you're gonna be using your um, sticker tile. If you want the bottom to look like this, or if the whole design is the same way, then you don't have to worry about it, but this, it has to match um, perfectly. And on this side, I kinda messed up, so I'm gonna have to cut it just like that. We're in a strange deal. cutting um, this side so that it matches on this side of the wall and this completely was unnecessary but um, like I said I kind of messed up but it's okay um, I got the second part of the other side of the wall right okay so I just finished cutting it just like that okay so this is what we got I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing the top of it as well um, because I don't know if I have enough uh, stickers to use so we're gonna tackle this wall right there and then I think we'll pretty much be done. I just wanna keep you to myself. Stay with me or leave me be. I want you all to Upgrading and putting this in the picture. Oh. There you go. New pot. Okay, I'm loving the way it looks. It's really pretty. I saw it and I thought it would be a really good upgrade for my utensils that I use in the kitchen. They look kind of dusty because I do use the. Well, actually, Evan does the dishes sometimes, and he will be using the dishwasher, and I just don't like them. I need to replace them, but for now, they're going to stay like that.
added to Diego. He just put all the cookies in there. Now I'm gonna show you guys the things that I got at Home Goods. I think that I'm going to hiding somewhere by a gated star. Baby, they ain't never gonna find me. I'm a renegade. Alright you guys, so let me show you real quick what I got at Home Goods the other night because I noticed that my utensils were really old. I'm still going to add it here onto this video because I want you guys to see the difference between new utensils and old utensils. I don't remember the last time I replaced my utensils. So this kitchen towel, I just thought it was really cute. The price for it was $6.99, so a major steal and it matches with my colors that I have here for my kitchen and then I also got bamboo utensils which I love them so much they're so affordable and they work amazingly the price for this was $3.99 and this one right here was five just this but it's fine I really think I'm gonna use it a lot and then over here we have more utensils for $6.99 so they look like this single one was $2.99 and last but not least this tool right here I will be putting similar items in the description box if you guys are interested uh, links will be down below for most of the things that you guys see up here similar things and for some it will be the same ones alright so I'm ready to replace my utensils so this is what the dishwasher will do to your um, tools and honestly, it looks so bad. I was like, I cannot be showing that online. <laughs> Look at the difference, you guys. Wow. I don't like putting my dishes in the dishwasher. I'd rather wash them by hand. But um, sometimes Evan will put them in the dishwasher and that's why they get so cloudy. Same with the cups. We're not allowed to put cups in the dishwasher. This is the before. Now let me show you guys the after. I know, right? And here we have the after. It made a big difference and it was something that was so inexpensive. And I am loving it. I'll make sure that they don't go on the dishwasher this time. So that I don't have to replace them for a while. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about my picture being used as a utensil <laughs> holder? I Honestly, I saw it and I just thought it was really pretty and it goes very well with my decor. I will be placing my utensils here to cover up the outlet right behind on the wall so it will look much better just like that. The cookies look so yummy. Let's see how long it takes for, for them to be gone and that's the reason why I didn't want to put no sweets in there. I know me and I'm gonna want to have some cookies uh, right when I finish this video <laughs> It looks completely different. I am loving everything that I did to it. It was simple things that honestly It did such a big difference. I'm keeping my utensils up there my forks and knives and all that right there Because Leo gets into the drawers now and we do not want him around the knives. No, 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 no We'll put a link down below you guys for this coasters that you guys see right here once I get the island right here on the center, I am going to be taking my cake stand. For now, I'm going to have to keep my cake stand right there. But once I do have the island, I plan into putting that on the top just to make it more fun. Let me know in the comments down below, you guys, what do you think about this transformation? Um, we're going to have to keep looking for that side so that we can fill it up with tile. But if not, I'm gonna have to leave it like that if I cannot find it. I'm trying to figure out how it would look better, but I can't seem to find a way. I think this looks good. We'll see. I 
inspiration was my friend Medium from Instagram. She has her kitchen really nice. And she was the reason why I decided to upgrade my kitchen. So thank you, amiga. I put the rug away and I'm not going to be placing it here like it was until I get the island on this side. Then I can have it right there. But this is pretty much my final look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I almost forgot to show you guys. I also got this really cool thing where you place your utensils when you are cooking. The handle for it is really long, which I, I was questioning it when I was at Home Goods and I got it. But I'm glad I did get it that way because it fits perfectly. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be keeping it next to my tools. This just became my favorite, favorite spot in this kitchen. Right here. <laughs> but we can't spend too much time right there. But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys on my next video. Athena is a doll. Oh my god, she's adorable. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite part of my decorate with me slash DIY. Um, let me know what you think, your thoughts. Have you ever tried this um, kind of tile before? I would love to hear your feedback on the comments down below. Also, patio decor coming soon. <laughs>